welcome to our daily reading for Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which sign symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace so see what feels right for you it could be one sign and that brings you clarity it could be the whole reading it could make sense later in the end always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest greatest good of everybody so we're all uplifted in love see how it feels for you how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave? Crashing into the wave? Riding the wave? Or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the musical playlist below. See if there's more depth to this reading for you in any of those songs or just enjoy the music. Also, whenever you watch any reading, always be open to how divine timing and inspiration comes through for you. It could give you the forecast into the future, clarify the past, or be right in tune with the now. All right, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoy this reading. I love you so much. I'll see you in a moment. Hi, welcome to our daily reading for Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. Let's begin with the daily guidance from your angels. Oracle cards, let's get clarity on the energies coming through today. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, or Higher Self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Let's get clarity and focus on the energies coming through and wisdom to ride these energies best. Start with one card, our foundation for the day, wisdom and guidance for us all. Let's start with one card. Wow, perfect timing. Nice card. This is nice. This is feeling the perfect time in you, feeling like something is right for you, feeling when the time is right and knowing when it's the right opportunity coming through for you. Everything is connecting when perfect timing comes through. I'm getting divine timing too. This is coming through a lot lately. It's being at the right, right place at the right time, perhaps by accident, perhaps by choice. Um, um, it's when pathways cross and make an imprint in perhaps your day, perhaps bigger than your day. Um, act. I'm getting, well, male energy here, doing something, taking inspiration in. And perhaps when you don't know what to do with it, do something. Move it out there. Uh, I'm getting like a project. Start something. Finish something. Start somewhere. I'm getting like detail. I want to say like lettering, details on lettering, like the shadows. I also, uh, I also want to say it like, uh, I guess a storyboard. It makes me think of comic book a little bit, but it could be, um, it could be a collection. It could be photographs. Um, a collection makes me think of uh, maybe you are, uh, you do fashion or you do something with like fashion styling where uh, there's different energies working under you. This could be you and your friends, you and your company, you and your home business, you and your family, you and your children, you and your honey, you and yourself, getting yourself organized. I'm getting organized and uh, like a map or a, I'm going back to a storyboard. So maybe there's writing, finishing something. Maybe you need to see it in front of you to see how to get down to the details or, um, uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you, I'm getting like, when I see the storyboard thing, I think of like maybe a casting call um, or like a contest or something like that where you see everything at once. It makes me think of like a children's coloring contest. Huh. 
or I'm getting a casting call. So maybe there's a, or an art collection. All right, I'm gonna go back to this. I'm getting sidetracked already. <laughs> the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe, ooh, that's nice, ripe for your success. That made me think of perfume. Um, everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So there's a positive outcome today. It's not through the closed door. It's not the slamming door. It's the door that's wide open, inviting, warm, ready to go, ripe and plump for you. Um, so there's a juicy energy today. I'm getting a lot of music with this card. Let me let you see it. It looks like... You know, there's notes, there's vibration, there's energy everywhere. You know when you hear a song and it, you can feel it on your skin, the angel bumps, the goose bumps, when you have that conversation and you have deja vu. It's that aha, extra energy going on with this opportunity, with this thing that you have to move on. Don't procrastinate. I feel like this is that chance. This is something to move forward with. It might be small. It might be one step but it's walking you along that path that's going to open more doors, more freedom. Uh, I'm getting room to breathe. Um, so maybe there's outdoor energy today. Maybe it's getting outside, going on a walk. Um, I wanna say trumpet, the trumpet. I put trumpet as the little uh, symbol in my playlist for the weekly. Maybe there's a song in the weekly playlist Funny, I have trumpets. Um, um, I just thought of the slackers, but I have no song. So I'll put something below. And I also thought of Moondog, but that makes me think of uh, like a bassoon and a clarinet. Um, I'll put that below. I'll put both below. All right, so let's continue for Thursday on perfect timing. This is an inner knowing in you. You know it's right. So don't hesitate or don't listen to what's going on out here if you feel like you have to just get in. I feel like you have to step inside first. So if there is like, I'm getting chatter <laughs> outside and it's making you want to leave the chatter to go into where it's open and free, get inside first and then Make that decision for you where there's no chatter involved that's not your own. And if there's too much of your, your own chatter, step inside where it feels free. Step outside where it feels free and see if there's less chatter. And allow, I'm getting inspiration to come through so you can move. I'm getting like move, circulate energy out there. Like maybe there's chatter ideas in you. Maybe you have to write something down. Uh, sometimes like a title can create a novel, can create a series, can create a movie, a screenplay. Um, it's funny, my sister and her boyfriend came home with some random books they found uh, at like a discount store. I think one book was like a dollar and there were a few scripts. And it's funny how you can see an hour. One was for American Beauty. And uh, I'll find a song from American Beauty and I'll put that below. Um, but, uh, it's funny how a, a movie that could be like three hours long is like a tiny little script and you can get through it pretty fast when it's a dialogue because there's so much extra in the pictures and the music and everything else that goes on. You know, it's also like when you, I guess, I don't know, maybe some of you are actors or doing something with acting or editing or film and you're finding that sometimes like the, by the way, these videos, I always just kind of, I do an intro so I don't have to worry about that when I'm doing the reading and the energy. And, but I, I do these just straight through unless I'm interrupted by some random reasons and I hit pause. But, um, Usually they're straight through, and it's like straight through time. You see everything live in action, mess ups and all. And I must say, it's not easy to do. You know, sometimes we have weird days. We feel weird. We're not feeling good. We're feeling happy. We have something else to do. We are distracted. And, you know, to keep this on and do it without the editing is hard. Um, but also, I don't want to take away from editing. Editing is hard. Me, I just don't want to do it. I'd rather do it raw and have it out there. And that works for me. All the stuff that goes underneath for me in the playlist is enough editing for me. I'm not so good at the typing. So, um, 
maybe there is an editing thing and you can find that i mean <laughs> oh my i mean you could do a movie or a commercial or something like that and spend hours days on getting a two minute shot a 30 second shot something like that i mean you could go cut again take 85 you know do it again until you hit it right or it could be that first one and you just nail it so um be open to however it comes through. Sometimes we need to learn and we need to go through something a bunch of times because we learned something in that progression. So maybe later we can just hit something and nail it. And sometimes it's about just going with it and just trusting that sometimes the biggest mess ups we have bring the most amazing blessings in our world. And now I'm thinking jewelry. So sometimes burning a hole in your metal, in your silver, in your gold, in your creation makes you think outside the box and brings a bigger creation in. It's actually a big blessing. So it's working with what you got. I see a garage again. I see somebody going in their garage and seeing like treasure, tools, uh, um, art supplies. Um, I'm seeing like rolls of fabric. I'm getting fabric. Um, even maybe like uh, wallpaper, posters, something like that I'm getting. All right, so let's move along. We're going to go to um, the Morgan Greer Tarot. I like this deck. I, I'm pretty sure that this particular tarot deck and I were born on the same year. I'm just going to leave that at that. But I, th I think it's the same year. <laughs> I'll let you do that research if you want. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the back. I like the back. They're just sort of fun. <laughs> and I like the random, like, facial and or body hair that the characters in this particular deck of cards have. That was a weird thing to think of. All right. They're kind of colorful and fun, so... Um, and they make me think of that 70s show. <laughs> All right, so, um, that was interesting for it to come through. All right, let's get a card. Let's get clarity on perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations, whatever that is for you. It could be a conversation. I, th I feel like it's just getting through the door. And I feel like it's plump and ready for you to go. Something's ready behind that door for you today. Um been waiting for you or not ready for you at all until you walk through the door and then everything falls into place. Um, maybe something you were worried about. So let's get clarity. Uh, the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. That's source, God, the universe. Sometimes if you don't know, if you, if you need a little extra support and you don't know what to do, pray. Ask for some help. You know, and see, be open to how it comes through for you. I'm um, just getting like nervous energy, you know, butterfly energy. And I feel like uh, it becomes comfortable. It becomes uh, almost like it's lifting you off and it's, uh, I'm getting that feeling like personally when I have weird dreams where I'm flying, I feel like I hover and I feel like it has to do with my breath in dream time. I know that's really weird. To come through but I feel like I don't always just like Superman fly it's more like a light ballerina bounce where I hover higher and higher and higher and higher into the air depending on how far I'd like to go and when you come back it's more like a graceful landing sometimes it's a little bit incredible Hulk like and I bounce very far that was weird sometimes by the way um, Dreams can be, uh, I'm getting, sometimes they can be actual places you actually know. Like, I've actually bounced in the treetops of, like, the area I grew up around in my dreams, which makes me think that sometimes I'm actually bouncing around the tree the treetops while I'm sleeping. That's a weird thing to think of right now. And sometimes it's completely bizarro land. When it comes to dream time, that made me think of comic books again. I'm getting Superman, bizarro... Maybe that's important for you. I don't think everybody even knows who Bizarro is. Um, that was weird. All right, let's see what comes through. Let's get clarity for our day. 
one card to help us out for Thursday. I know you guys don't know why I'm laughing, but per personally, this card means something to me to pull because when I was thinking before, when I was telling you guys there's random facial and or body hair, it was actually this particular card that I was thinking because this particular man in this particular lover's card has a very hairy ass. I'm gonna let you see that and I'm just gonna say that's why I mentioned the hair before so it's pretty sexy there's a couple here and unlike other lovers cards they're into one another they're naked they're hanging out in the jungle um, that just made me think of a Jamiroquai song runaway and a Savage Garden song uh, run I want to run through the jungle I'll put it below <laughs> I can't believe this card came up all right so it could be a lover uh, or Freudian slip it could be a Gemini energy the lovers is six it represents twins the lovers balance between masculine and feminine here sometimes there's a big angel sometimes there's a third party here it's just you and your honey or that masculine and feminine inside of you just feeling good dancing around your house naked perhaps with I just saw socks maybe just your socks on and naked maybe just your underoos you know maybe you're just you're whatever you want that you're comfortable with it's the lovers this is finding comfort in decision decisions that you love finding people in your world that love to be around you too this could be a friendship it doesn't have to be naked time with all of you this could be a new partner in your world a new buddy in your world a new rekindling in the relationship you already have. A brand new relationship coming in your world. This could be signing up for something you love. Starting to play an instrument that you love. Finishing something that you thought you'd never finish and you are so loving the decision that you decided to have that I'm getting the final touches put on something. That was sort of specific the way that came out. Six is decisions. I think of balance and I think of harmony. I think of the male and the female getting together, having a little friction, good or bad or weird or awesome or whatever it is, and it explodes into energy, possibly a third energy, you know, possibly an idea, an inspiration. I'm getting a vacation, you know, whatever it is, maybe just a night together to talk about the awesome hair each of you have or don't have. You know, so the lily, it makes me think of the Annunciation. And that makes me think of uh, Gabriel and Mary and three days and taking your time on a decision to make sure it's right for you, allowing someone else to take their time to make a decision. And this is also when there's, I feel like the lovers comes through when you have the chance to have the right kind of love in your world because you always can make the decision to have the wrong thing in your world and you can think it's the right thing and it takes making that wrong decision to understand that it wasn't the right thing and that there's something else so it's making the right decision for you to move to something that's good for you allowing someone else the time you know they need to make that and to come together I feel like there is a coming together here and there's a perfect timing um and there's always the hand of fate. There's always God's hand here protecting you. They're not going to push you. You know, your angels, your spirit guides, helpful energies of love, coincidence, timing, bumping into somebody by chance, thinking about somebody at the same time, having that conversation go deeper than you ever thought it would today. You know? And both of these people have, or you, the, 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 the opportunity to balance the masculine and feminine inside of you, the dark side of you and the light side of you, however you want to look at opposite energies. Opposite energies in you. Opposite choices and come to that medium, that perfect place in you to get through that door and feel good in your skin and your hairy ass. <laughs> I love this card. 
I'm so happy this card came through. I just have to say that because this is what I saw in my head. I can't believe it came through. So the lovers. So there's a loving energy coming through. It's, what did I write here? At one point I went nerd on these cards. Children of the voice divine. So speak up, communicate, you know, sometimes it's just in a look, a glance, sometimes it's a touch, sometimes it's not really in words, it's how you show your love. Sometimes how you show your love is different for everybody, or different depending on who you're showing your love to, whom, you know? So it's always a, re a learning, a relearning, I'm getting adapting, communicating, just love. This is a loving card, it's beautiful. It's a little, there's a little bit of lusting energy here. You're in the jungle. So there's a little bit of like PDA. I'll put PDA by John Legend below. Um, I like that song. Um, maybe just allow a moment, you know, allow there to be a moment to come together with yourself in harmony. Um, what was I saying? There's one more thing. I want to say that each of these people has the choice to connect to their higher self, to God or not. And usually, uh, when love is involved, it is a ch chance to connect to, to your higher self. Because once love is in the picture, although it might be goofy and weird, it puts a loving filter on every single thing that you do. Even if you just start to do something you love in your world, and this isn't like a hot and heavy day necessarily for all y'all. Doing something you love in your world puts a filter of love in your world and puts that loving vibration out there that brings you on the right path to have the right kind of love in your world back that responds right to you and everything you do once you respond with love in yourself. All right, this is really nice. All right, let's get one more card. I'm actually going to do something different for the finale. I sort of went half nerd on these. These are the uh, Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed um, I'm going to do it as the ending because I do like to do a little bit of, um, the book that comes through with some of these oracle cards, but, uh, I've used these before and just kind of done them raw. So I'll look at the cards, see what comes through, and then we'll look at the book and conclude this be beautiful reading for the day. This is a night, nice, this is pretty good. P perfect timing, the lovers, I mean... The lovers could come through and you could choose the wrong thing or you could choose to part ways. That could happen when the lovers comes through, but mm, nah, I feel like there is something happy coming through. There's something that even if there's a parting of ways somewhere, it's leading you towards love. Um, all right, let's get clarity on Thursday on the lovers, Major Arcana 6, and... Mm, I'm getting um, unconditional love. Which is hard. You know, we're not perfect. I think it's easier to have that with animals. But people are hard. Well, we all are difficult and complicated. So this is willing to get through the difficult. Because the love is way better. Way more worth it. That's our card. What is that? I almost want to open the door here so you can hear the chimes blowing outside. And my cat burring. Can you hear them? And that card is called Come Together. <laughs> Perfect timing. The lovers. And come together even if it's just harmony in you acceptance in you you know it starts there and that acceptance flows and becomes acceptance in everything you do and everyone else because you see that light in everyone else you know that child of God in everyone else this is also number eight there's a lot of power in the number eight it's infinity coming back around you know, I see balance, diving deep, breathing, coming together at a point, um, gathering information, gathering inspiration, and then letting it out there and seeing how it flows and creates. Also conversation. There's three hearts here, maybe something with three again. 
And look at the awesome pelican just sort of hanging out there. Um, and two giraffes kissing. They're cute. They're they're like reaching up. They they're like reaching. I don't know. I I want to say reaching for something that maybe felt unattainable, but then they found out they're tall enough to to grab it. But I like how this pelican's just sort of resting on this heart. All right, let's see what this is. Eight coming together. I also thought of the Beatles song, so I'll put that below. Eight. Um. This is a nice reading, guys. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Come together as love needs to be shared. Don't keep it to yourself when you have a lot to give. If you don't know where to give it, and if it's not being received where you're trying to push it or get it out there, put it somewhere else. There's somewhere out there that is wanting and waiting and willing to receive the love you have to offer, that special vibration of love that you have to give. So, you know, if it doesn't go, just I'm getting like, uh, change its formation. If it's not going in one direction, change how its form is and where it goes and try something else. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression. Romantic, familiar, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love is. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a, rel a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished. I just thought of cherished by Madonna. I'll put that below. Like a magnet. You're attracting love into your life. I just thought of Mila Jojovich, and I'm not sure which song or why I just thought of her, but I really love her original album she did when she was like, I don't know, really young, like 14 or 15 or something like that. So I'll put something by her below. I'll put the gentleman that fell. The gentleman who fell. I think that's the one that if you know a song, you'd probably know that one. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Now, if this is reversed the other way, so we have to look at everything both ways so we can find a balance. When come together card appears reverse, it's a sign that perhaps love connecting is unbalanced. Is intimacy being withheld from you? Or are you withholding it from another? Longing and yearning are often mistaken for love when in fact they are signs of lack. Perhaps you've been doing all the emotional work, pouring your water, water into an empty well. To the point that now you are also depleted. Know this, true love will not be denied. True love will not be denied you. What is truly for you will never walk past you or require this much energy. Drop the agendas, the fight, and the need to win. And allow love to flow through you. True love will always find its reflection in another. Oh, I, I'm ending this reading with chills and angel bumps, goosebumps. They look a little like my sassy jeans, <laughs> which are a little more 80s than 70s. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. I hope this was helpful.